First, justice for the wrongfully convicted. A group of people all have at least one thing in common. They were sent to prison for a crime they didn't commit. And now that they've been free, they're working to change lives by helping others going through the same ordeal. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson, Nelson joins us from the newsroom. Mackenzie, how is this group going to help? Well, Andres, they're trying to help others regain their freedom and integrate back into society. The nonprofit organization is called Miracle of Innocence. It was founded by men who were wrongfully convicted and spent decades behind bars. I was arrested in 1984 and sent to prison in 1984-85 is when I went in, in the Missouri State Penitentiary uh, in Jefferson City, Missouri. Daryl Burton was convicted of capital murder in St. Louis and sentenced to life without parole plus 25 years. There was two eyewitnesses who wrongfully convicted me or wrongfully identified me. 24 years later, it was discovered that evidence in the case was withheld that would have set him free. I got out in 2008. August 2008. The charges were dropped and Burton walked out of prison. No one was here for me when I came home. I left St. Louis when they released me and I came to Kansas City the next day with what I had on. Burton co-founded the Miracle of Innocence organization. His mission is to help others the way he once needed help. To have somewhere where they can come to get some support and some help, whether it's housing, you know, transportation, communication, identification, all the things that you need just to make it in society. Saturday, a fundraiser was held for the nonprofit. Dozens of people showed their support. When we hear those situations and we see them, it just further says to us, make sure that what you're doing is focusing in on justice and not chasing a conviction alone. A wrongful conviction case can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. The lawyer's got to get paid for the time. You often need experts. If you have any real evidence of DNA, all that sort of stuff, you have to test it. I mean, these are types of cases, and the problem is, who's going to pay for it? Miracle of Innocence hopes to raise funds to continue their work. If they are not given an opportunity to do something that's right and to gain the skills and the assistance that are needed, then you fall uh, back into uh, possible habits that, that we as a criminal justice system really encourage folks to stay away from. We've actually experienced uh, a wrongful conviction, so we know what our needs are. Andres, the Miracle of Innocence organization says 2.3 million people are incarcerated in the United States. They said at least 1% of them are wrongfully convicted. In the newsroom, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News.